Hi teachers, in this video we are going to take a look at creating collections of my stuff within HMH Ed. Doing this can help you find some of the things you want to locate more often, um, or you can even plan down to the lesson so that you have quick links to all the materials that you might be using during a specific lesson. To get started in the center, I'm going to select Discover, and then I'm going to choose My Stuff first. I like to have the lesson or collection created ahead of time so it's really easy to add things to it. Now, all of your custom lessons are basically just going to be collections of things. They don't have to be for a specific lesson. For that reason, I'm actually going to create one just called Resource Materials. And I'm going to put an asterisk in front of it so that it always stays at the top. The way that the custom lesson feature works is unfortunately there's not folders you can put stuff into. Currently, you kind of have to rig things by using characters or alpha letters or numbers in order to put them in the order that you want. It is going to list things in an alphabetical order. I can put details here or I can simply just hit create. Now I can see that there's nothing in here and I can select add resources here, which will automatically take me into my resources. From here, I can select the search up in the upper right, which can be great to find some things, like maybe I wanna add the start right reader wordless to this reference materials and I see it pops up right at the top. So I'm going to select add to my lessons, check the box, add there and it's added there for reference. Maybe these are things I want to print later. The word list also can be beneficial. This is all the different vocabulary words that you'll use across the different units and I'm going to add that there. Now occasionally I do search for things within the program and I just can't find them. We'll look for the readers theater. And when I searched for Reader's Theater, luckily they came up, but I'll be honest, I've searched a lot of times for Reader's Theater and they're not always coming up for me. So there are other ways to go about finding things within the program. To do this, we are going to select HMH Resources. We're going to select All Resources and I want you to take a look at this reference chart. This reference chart was provided in print at one of our last meetings, but you can also access this online as well. So this reference chart has all of the categories here. It has all the different features listed in it, but they've been chunked so that you can easily see things that are related. So everything on this page is overview, reference, and SEL. Here's all my building background and assessment features. Here's everything pertaining to reading literature and reading informational. So you can see the comprehension, Rigby library, vocabulary, classroom library. On this cheat sheet, I've included descriptions of a lot of the features so you know exactly what you're getting when you pull up that feature. What I would do is if I'm using this tool, and let's say I want these um, Rigby Library coaching cards. This is interesting me. So I notice at the very top of this box, it says Rigby Library. So what I'm going to do to make the searching a little bit shorter is I'm going to select Rigby Library from here, and then underneath the component, I'm looking for the coaching cards and I see that I have guided reading coaching cards right here. So I'm going to select that and I have those guided reading coaching cards. I am finding that searching using these categories and components that are referenced at these larger headings, for example, comprehension skills and strategies. I want these focal text taken to each lessons book club discussion guide. So I'm going to go to comprehension skills and strategies, select the component, and now I have way less components to look at, and I see the Take and Teach lesson, book club discussion guide, and then I can see the book club discussion guides right here and open them up. 
So using that component feature regularly does simplify things as well as selecting one of these categories ahead of time can further simplify things. Just keep in mind that sometimes these categories aren't as intuitive as I'd like them to be. So that's why I'm using this cheat sheet to help me figure out what category things would be found underneath. For example, these blended books, which are definitely decodable readers, they're not actually part of this foundational skills box. I put them down here as a reference point, but to be honest, they're actually listed under differentiation and intervention. So sometimes you have to take a look at the sheet just to reference that will help you find things a little bit faster. Once you have your collection built, at any point you can come back to my stuff and click on your collection and you can see anything here. Now within the collection, you can move things up and down or you can use the six dots, eight dots to drag things up and down. You also have the ability to share the collection with another person. Do keep in mind that when you share a collection, it's not a live share, it's a one-time share and they can choose to make a copy of that collection if they would like. Any collections that are shared with you by someone else, you'll find them under shared with me. And then you'll be able to open up that shared with me and choose to duplicate them if that's something that you want to hold on to or organize yourself.